In this video, we introduce Diffusion Rig, learning personalized priors for facial appearance editing. Diffusion Rig enables personalized facial appearance editing, including relighting, expression change, and pose change. By driving a diffusion model with physical buffers, such as surface normals, albedo, and Lambertian rendering, from a coarse 3D model. Before we dive into Diffusion Rig, let's go through the fundamentals. DECA is a neural network that takes a single image as input and outputs different physical parameters of a 3D morphable model, or 3DMM, including shape, pose, albedo, and lighting. Once DECA has estimated all these parameters, we can render coarse physical buffers such as surface normals, albedo, and the Lambertian image. One advantage of using such 3DMMs is that they can be easily modified to allow for controllable editing of facial appearance in a physically meaningful way. However, it is important to note that there is a significant gap in photorealism between the Lambertian rendering and the real input photo. Diffusion models, on the other hand, are capable of generating extremely photorealistic images of human faces. However, the generation process cannot be easily rigged or controlled in a physically meaningful manner. In this paper, we get the best of both worlds by taking advantage of the controllability of 3DMMs and the photorealism of diffusion models. Our method consists of two stages. The first stage is to learn generic face priors from a large dataset such as FFHQ. After this stage, our diffusion model learns to map 3DMM Lambertian rendering into a photorealistic portrait image. Then we learn person-specific priors from a tiny photo album of around 20 images. After this stage, our model has learned personalized priors tailored to this specific person. Finally, after Diffusion Rig learns personalized priors, we can use a model to edit the facial appearance of that person while preserving their identity and high-frequency facial characteristics. At stage 1, given the input, we use DECA to estimate the physical buffers including normals, albedo, and Lambertian rendering, as they can be easily manipulated in a physically meaningful way. We would like those buffers to drive or rig the image synthesis process. Next, we will concatenate these physical buffers with a noise map. The concatenated input aligns well with the input and output images. We change the denoising diffusion model to reconstruct the input image. Because these physical buffers are not able to provide all information including facial details or the image background, we need another condition to account for global information. Therefore, we add a global encoder to encode the input image to a global latent code. We then feed the latent code to the denoising diffusion model as another condition. Now we have a model that learns generic facial priors by reconstructing a large dataset of face images. The physical buffers tend to contain only local information since they are pixel aligned with the input image. The global latent code, on the other hand, tends to cover more global information such as the background and hairstyle. Stage 1 chaining teaches a model to generate a nice photo of someone, but we need the model to learn about a specific person. Therefore, in the second stage, we would like to learn person-specific priors. We fix the global encoder and only fine-tune the denoising diffusion model this time. Instead of using a large dataset, we require only a tiny photo album of the same person at this stage. After this stage, the weights of the denoising diffusion model contain this person's personalized priors. After we have learned person-specific priors, we can edit the person's appearance by manipulating the physical buffers or global latent code. In this inference example, we change the lighting parameters in Lambertian rendering, which then drives our diffusion model to produce a photorealistic image of the same person with just the lighting changed. We can also change the expression. And same for the pose. Let's see some more facial appearance editing results with these input images as inputs. We can run DECA to get the physical buffers, then change the lighting parameters, and ask our diffusion model to generate the edited images accordingly. Similarly, we can rig the person's facial expression.
and also for the poles. Next, let's take a deeper look at our model. First, we would like to know what the global latent code exactly encodes. To achieve this, we mix the two kinds of conditions that drive the image generation process. We use the left two images for physical buffers and top three images for global latent code. By doing a mix and match of these conditions, we can get the results. We can see that the physical properties like pose and expression are consistent with the left images, while other nuances like background or glasses are similar to the top images. These results demonstrate that in diffusion rig, the physical properties are well disentangled from other appearance properties that physical buffers cannot describe. Next, we want to know what information is encoded in the personalized diffusion model's weights. Here, we show four images as input. We use their physical buffers and global latent codes, just swap with another personalized diffusion model. By doing this, we can create the effect of adding someone's identity to another person like the results present here. These results further demonstrate that our model is able to learn personalized priors from a small dataset. We have presented a diffusion rig a diffusion model that can be rigged by 3D morphable face models. It enables us to change the person's lighting, expression, and head pose, while preserving the person's high-frequency facial characteristics. Please visit our website for the paper, supplementary material, code, and data. Thank you for watching.